All right, good Monday morning to you. I have uh, responded to offers and answered questions and emails and stuff, and now it's time to get busy and do some packages. All right, so let's get to it. All right, our first item of the day is a comic book. Swamp Thing. There we go. It's a pretty dreary day outside, so I'm not sure how... Hopefully the light's bright enough. But Swamp Thing number 56. This sold for $2.15. And it's been listed since September 29th of 2020. We'll get a Gemini. Right, should be the eight ounce rate. Yes. All right. Our next item is an action figure. Uh, Peta from the Hunger Game movies. Oh, let me try to get over here. Yeah, there they are. Here we go. Yeah, Peta from the Hunger Game movies. Uh, as you can see, the condition of the package is really rough. And, uh, let's see. This sold for $5 plus shipping. And it's been listed since November 10th of 2017. And I started with, I think, about 20 of those. And they were all in rough shape. And... When I did the listing, I just put, you know, the quantity of 20 or what have you. So, I think I'm down to five of them left. So, a little bit slow sellers, but... And since the packaging is so rough, I don't really do too much, you know, when I'm shipping them out. I assume the people are taking them out and displaying them. I had one person buy two or three of them and they said they uh, actually repainted them and made custom figures. So. All right, and that is a 12 ounce rate. Our next item is a Funko Pop, a loose Funko Pop. And it is Lady Sif from Thor. Oh, I gotta get her stand. All right, right there she is, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I'll show it here in just a sec. There we go. Lady Sith from Thor. It is a loose pop, so. 864 box. Get a sheet of bubble wrap. And then I take them off their stand if it comes off easy. If, if that stand is nice and secure, I'll leave it on the way it is. Mm. 
that all rolled up. be eight ounce yes all right next one is a comic book <clears throat> let's see girl frenzy Donna Troy all right here we go so a girl frenzy Donna Troy sold for $1.75 and it's been listed since September 28th of 2020. And I might have forgotten on that pop that I just did up. Uh, the Lady Sith. She sold for $9.75 plus shipping. And had been listed since September 4th of 2020. So both these items were listed in September 2020 and sold on the same day. This person asked me to write do not bend on the outside, so let me do that here in just a sec. I forget to keep down. All right. should be an eight ounce rate yeah the next order uh, the person bought nine comic books and this one's pretty easy because all nine are the same series uh, micronauts at the special edition one These will go in a regional rate A box. One, two, three. All right, so we got two, four, six, nine. And like I said, I alternate them and stack them this way so the spines are different. It's, they seem to lay flatter. You can kind of get it more compact. Uh, <clears throat> Now these, I don't have the individual prices, but total it was $16.70 plus shipping for these. There we go. And see, that's pretty flat. If I wanted to, I could probably go in a legal flat rate and save, you know, a couple dollars. But I don't want to take the chance because it, it gets kind of iffy, you know, and you don't want the corners to get dent and dinged up. So... I use that regional A box. Let's see, do that. Let me get a sheet above a wrap. Okay. 
There's a regional rate A box. And just in case you don't know, uh, the regional rate A boxes are flat rate. And so anything you fit in here will go for the same price in within the U.S. And I think this will run, I don't know, probably about $10, uh, depending on where it's going to. But I think if it's here in Texas, it's only uh, like $8. But if it goes to Maine or somewhere around there, I think it actually might be upwards of $10.79. That. But I mean they're nice. You can put it in here, don't have to worry about the weight, and it just goes. And that's it. Okay, our next item is a comic book. Let's see, Suicide Girls. And this is one where it's been an old listing, so I got to do the new photos with the white background. So I pulled that extra. But this is Suicide Girls issue number three. Uh, it's sold for $3.99 and has been listed since April 23rd of 2018. So nearly three years. Okay, and that should be an 8 ounce rate again. And it's right on 8, so I'll go 12 on that. Our next item is a uh, Marvel Legends action figure. Let me find it. It is the uh, Moon Knight from the Modoc. Oh, the only one I have left from that series. I can get you in the light here and you'll be able to see it better. Here we go. Moon Knight, and has a part of the, you know, if you got all of them from the set, you can build this Modoc figure. And so, this was just listed 10 days ago on March 12th of 2021, and it sold for $48.75 plus shipping. So that's a good sale. have to go buy more bubble wrap today. I'm almost out. Of oh. Almost forgot to put that in an envelope. You don't have to. I think it just makes it look a little nicer. And it can't move. And it'll probably be a, a you know, two pound rate, one pound. I always put just a pound, 15 ounces. Because it, I mean, this will probably be somewhere in the a pound five, pound eight ounce, some, yeah, pound five, but I go pound 15. Okay, our next item is a uh, Poison Ivy action figure. I've got three of them. There they are. Right here. A little dented in the front. 
And what I do when I have multiples like this, because like I said, I had three of them. And I listed, you know, quantity of three when I made the listing. I take a picture of the worst side of each figure so that, you know, when you put all the pictures together, you would have the most terrible figure possible. And that way, whenever they get their figure in, it cannot be as bad as I photoed because I photoed the worst of all three. So, yeah, it's a little bit tight. Let me try a smaller bubble wrap. Uh, this has been listed since July 17th of 2020. So, a year and... Eh, not quite a year, I guess. There we go. Let's put this on there, because... Yeah. Alright. Don't need to cut anything off. Uh, they paid... $9.65 plus shipping. Uh, first class shipping. And that... Is the way it would go. I was weighing it because sometimes you can cut those flaps off inside and get get you a little bit get you know like to the 12 ounce rate where this is going to have to go the one pound rate yeah all right next item are two comic books and i don't it's the title of the series is power of the atom but i don't know if i put that under atom or power of the atom it looks like power all right Okay, Power of the Atom, number two and three, right there. Both these are going to the same buyer, number two and number three. And these sold for $3. I took the best offer of $1.50 a piece, uh, plus shipping. And you see here, they have been listed since January 22nd of 2019. So, two years, two months, basically. And now they're gone. There we go. Put a little piece of tape on there. The Gemini. And this should be probably the 12 ounce rate for two. Yes, so we have a 12 ounce and a one pound rate. Okay, our next item is a postcard. Oh, let's see. It is an A27. Let me see here. It's a real photo postcard, street view. One's not it. That's it, right there. Tonopah, Nevada. This I took an offer for this morning for twenty dollars plus shipping, and it has been on since April eleventh of two thousand nineteen. All right, let me put this back up and get a uh, little postcard mailer, even though I still put them in a box. 
Right there's our postcard. All right. And the uh, next item is a Superman comic book. Superman, the Man of Steel. Right there. And it is number 37. Okay. Should have two. Oh, I actually got a bunch. I just haven't listed those others yet. Okay. Alright, so here's that comic book. Nice Superman Batman comic. Uh, took an offer of $1.99 plus shipping. And it has been listed since May 9th of 2019. Should be an eight ounce rate, and we'll get this eight six four box for the postcard. Right through there, you know, half a sheet of uh, a bubble wrap. Feels like an tape on this roll. And this should be a four ounce rate. Yes. Okay, our next item is a uh, marble card. Let me put this right here. We'll need that in a sec. It is the number 10 Wolverine. Put that in a soft sleeve. Okay, now I'll put it in a uh, postcard mailer. And then we do it just like a postcard. An 864 box. sheet of bubble wrap.
Okay, and this card sold for uh, $15 with free shipping. And let's see, let me get this back on. All right, $15 in free shipping, and it's been listed since February 13th of this year. So, six weeks. That is the four ounce rate. Our next item is a wrestling poster. I bought these, uh, I don't know, two years ago now or so. Let's see. We are looking for... Oh, there we go, cane. Let's make sure there's not another cane. Stone Cold, Lesnar, Rock, Stone Cold, and Taker. Okay. Not another cane, so that's good. Don't have to get them too confused. I'll try to, when we get in here, I'll try to unfold this a little bit so you can see it. And if not, I'll try to do one of those things where you pop the picture up here in the frame. Let's see. Because these were posters like a, a bar or something would hang up, you know, and say, hey, come see that pay-per-view here, you know, on Sunday. Come on. There we go. So, I don't know if y'all can see all of it or not. But, I mean, it's nice. Kane's mask, big red machine, no mercy. So, at any rate... That sold this morning. I took a best offer of $60 plus shipping. And it's been on since July 20th of 2019. And I take those. I don't have a bag big enough to go over these. So I put them in like a, just a generic grocery store, Walmart plastic bag. And then I use the old magazine, uh, cardboard so because the poster is a little bit bigger or wider than the magazine but this does a pretty good job and i use that thicker i don't use a uh, gemini i use that thicker mailer because these still can go first class now what i might do with this is go ahead and send it priority anyway in this so that it has extra protection you know with the box because it was a $60 poster and there again like I keep saying I guess a first class package like this if it gets lost you're out of luck you know you, you gotta pay the money but if I go ahead and send this uh, priority and it gets lost then they'll pay the claim okay that looks pretty good back down here put this and want to tie it back now we'll obviously send it priority since I need to tie back but if I remember correctly this just does fit in this priority box height wise I like to put a little bit of padding around it in the bubble wrap. I think it's this one. It might be the bigger one. No, oh, looks like it's this one. Okay. Too tall. And I guess technically it would be okay because that poster does not go anywhere near the top or bottom of that cardboard, the folded, folded cardboard. But 
you know, if you got a package in and you'd paid sixty dollars and it shows up and it's squashed at the top, even if it doesn't affect your item, it, it's just not a very good impression for the for, for the customer to get, you know, when they're opening. I've received uh, some items in the mail like that where I was like, oh my gosh. I hope this is not broken in here. And, uh, you know, most of the time it's not, but it's just, you know, it doesn't cost any extra for me to ship it in this box here versus, you know, trying to bend and fold it. I guess it did cost me those extra two pieces of bubble wrap, but, you know, that's well worth it. Okay, last item before lunch is this. An Atari 1030 external modem. Oh, here we go. And this uh, was also sold untested as is. Uh, part of the uh, computer lot that I bought earlier this year in January and February. Uh, this sold for $37.75 in free shipping, and it has been listed since February 24th of this year, so I think right at a month, just under a month, and I had two of them, so they both sold in under a month. This is a 1086, uh, one of the eBay boxes you get with the, the little coupon every quarter. I think I'll use the uh, air pocket thing so I have for here. Three of them might do the trick. Why only take two? Let's see. Okay. That might be too much. And that's too little. So I might have to go. Let me see if I have a little. Well, actually, I can use a. I got this bubble wrap in on a package that I ordered yesterday. So this can go right there and fill that gap. Perfect. All right. And actually, it didn't matter. Still pound 15. All right. So, pound 15. All right, uh, got back from lunch. I uh, dropped off FedEx, and we have a few more orders. So let's go ahead and get these packaged up and see how the afternoon goes. All right, uh, what we have first is a Spider-Man action figure. It's a Diamond Select figure. There we go. Packaging is in horrible shape, but that's the way I listed it. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to put that in this box, which is 14 by 11 by 7. Get these little corner things out. 
and basically all I do is two sheets of bubble wrap lay it down and this fits right in there nice and snug it's a nice pose but as you can see even the top of it's pretty dirty so I would say this person's most likely going to take it out of the package and display it and this sold for $21.75 plus shipping and it has been listed since October 6th of 2020 so nearly six months these boxes I'm always a little nervous see how they built the box just to come up here and and it's glued and so if this came undone I think the box could just basically open up so I give, give it a little extra tape there and these usually uh, ship at the two pound 15 ounce rate three pound rate Two pounds, 15 ounces. Our next item is again part of this vintage software uh, computer stuff. Let's see. I think it's down here. My aisle's getting too crowded. Okay, yeah, here it is. Koala wear. Koala painter with the cartridge. I have a stylus and it comes with the koala pad. And uh, this has some, I don't know, creases or wrinkles and stuff all around the side. Again, I sold this as untested. And uh, I took a $50 offer. And it's $50 with free shipping. Let me measure that. Okay, yeah, it'll work. And it's been listed since February 10th of 2021. So less than 60 days, and it's sold. to do two sheets of bubble wrap on that and the cartridge I'll probably in the booklet too I'll probably put those in a plastic bag okay that wraps up quite nice I don't really have a plastic bag I guess I could do a Walmart bag or something but let me take this Make it look a little nicer. I guess protect it a little bit if it was to get a little wet. Not much, but a little bit. There we go. Lay that on top. I'm not sure if half a sheet will do it or if I need to get another full. I think that'll do it. We'll do the weight. Yeah, it'll be a pound 15, so don't have to cut anything off. There we go. So let me get these two labeled. Okay, the next item is a book. It's a uh, history, local history, I guess county book. There it is get you out here in the light and you can see it history of McVeigh town Bratton and Oliver townships now a little paperback but I do well with these you know local and regional history type books 
Uh, this one sold for $33.75 plus shipping. I think it'll fit in a magazine bag to make it look nicer. And it has only been listed since uh, February 18th of 2021 this year. So just over a month. There we go. And it sold. So that, that was good. And, you know, like I said, I am in Texas. So I probably got this book for a buck or something at a yard sale. Because around here, not too many. I, I do well with Texas history around here. But obviously not. I think this is Pennsylvania. All right. Let me tape this down. I'm using one of those thicker fold mailer boxes because this will go media rate. I want to check it to make sure it's not squishing the sides. That was a good fit. There we go. And that is a pound 15, right? Okay, the next item is a comic book. A Yusaki Yojimbo. Let's see. It's back here. We're looking for issue 24. Oh, there it is. We got two. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, Usagi Yojimbo, number 24, and that's him here, the rabbit. Uh, this sold for $5.99, plus shipping, and has been listed since December 12th of 2017. Now, he is a popular character. Can't be that popular though, right? Been on for over three years. But, I mean, if I saw it, I'd buy it again. So. That's, yep, eight ounce right. And next we have another action figure. Uh, it's right here. Spider-Man Ultimate Rhino. This, I took an offer of $16 plus shipping. Let's see how tall it is. Less than four, okay. Uh, and it has been listed for six days. I listed this on uh, March 16th of 2020. I need my step ladder. Uh, I measured it because it's too thick to go in a priority box. And I don't want that... Uh, this window plastic blister package to get crushed in. So I have these 15 15 4 boxes that it'll ship in. I mean, this box is obviously much wider than the figure. But, it does a good job, and as long as it's less than a two pounds even, then it really doesn't matter. Sometimes I have to cut uh, the interior flaps on these to get them that way. So let's see how much the Rhino weighs by itself. 
Okay, it's right at a pound, just under. I should be fine to go with without cutting any of that. Okay. Like I said, you can see that the box is way bigger than the figure. But, okay, now that will crush the... There we go. That does not crush it. And it can't move around. Let me put a little piece of tape on here, and I'll weigh it just to make, just to make sure. Yeah, see, it's below the one pound, fifteen ounce mark. So this will be the way we'll ship it. This is going to someone in New York who says they've had a very rough year. So hopefully this will cheer them up a little bit. They say they remember this from their childhood. All right, yep, one pound 15. Okay, the next order is a customer that bought 13 comic books. All right, so now this should be 13 comics, comic books. Let's see. I can relist these so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right let me go ahead and relist these and then i'll come back and we'll do this package up i just found it's easier to go ahead and relist straight from his order rather than because once i print the label these go, you know, to your sold list, and I have to scroll down and everything. So let me relist those, and then we'll come back and we'll do this package up. Okay, so I've got these relisted, the ones that I could, and so now we'll do this package on up. Uh, the total on this was $22.25, $22.25 plus shipping. 13 uh, comic books total so we'll bag and board the ones that we need to All right, four, five, six, seven. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen. That's right. <clears throat> and these will go in a uh, regional rate A box, like we did this morning. This just holds that bag and the the comics tight in a I don't know, like a brick form, so they're not sliding around. Use a piece of metal wrap. A box. And we need another half. 
half piece of bowling. Let me get a label on this and we'll pull the next order. Okay, our next order is uh, 11 comic book purchase. A-Rack, Son of Thunder. Looking for issue 4, 6, 7, 15, 16, 17... Okay, should be 11 total. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. And these were all listed on the same day, uh, September 26th of 2019. And the total for these were $15.95 plus shipping. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. All right, and these will go in a regional A as well. And this buyer had 10 on one invoice, and then they bought one more and paid full price. So we'll need to refund the shipping difference on the, the one that was not on the invoice. So when we print off the label, I will then go in and show... I mean, it's real simple to issue the refund, but I'll go ahead and show how that works too. We need the regional A box. item is part of the vintage computer gaming lot. Oh, there it is. Couldn't find it for a sec. There it is. It is a Wico? Wico? There you go. Wico Command Control. It has the push button at the top. This sold for $24.75. Free shipping. And it has been listed since February 10th of 2021. So about six weeks. I'm going to send it in a 1086 box. wrap in a square. Let 
different. All right, and then I will get two more pieces. Just make a T or plus sign out of them. That will go sideways. That's all there is to it. Let me see what it weighs. Yeah, pound 15. No use in trimming anything. It doesn't move. All right, so pound 15, that puts us up to the minute on packages. We just sold a model, and this model sold because I uh, sent out an offer. Uh, make sure we don't have an extra. Oh, look at there, we do. Okay. So here it is, 53 Studebaker, Mr. Speed. It's new and sealed, uh, but yeah, I I use that make offer or send offer quite a bit, uh, and so I just sent I think sixty some odd offers, and this one sold because of it. And it's a good way to to make sales. Let's see. Shipping it out in a uh, priority mail shoe box. And it sold for $39.16 plus shipping. And it has been listed since July 26 of 2020. And like I said, I have another one. So I'll be able to relist this. I've been doing some listings today and testing VCR DVD combos and then I'll be able to list those this evening but right now I have four of them that I picked up over the last week and those still sell real well you know and uh, I test both sides make sure both sides work properly none of uh, one of these does have a remote but and I do not go through the effort of purchasing a remote. I just sell a unit as it is. Oh. Oh, my scale somehow got off. But yeah, those uh, combo players are still real good sellers. Okay. Should be, yep, pound 15 is what we'll call it. Okay, we have two more packages to do up. Uh, the first one is a uh, military challenge coin. Let's see. These are my little stacks. Bring them in one stack. Yep. Isn't that always the way? Alright. There we go. Last coin, too. McDill in Tampa Bay. So, like I said, this is a military challenge coin. We'll go in an 8x6x4 box. That sold for $15 plus shipping. I took a best offer on it just a minute ago. And it's been listed since October 20, October 24th of 2019. Alright, I'm going to put that in one of those one of these comet bags just to protect it.
and these have done okay um i just picked up a bunch more about two weeks ago but i haven't had a chance yet to look through them or do any searches or anything like that up again okay eight ounce weight and then the next item is a model kit that I just got I guess it's gonna get dark for you here for a sec let's see there it is There we go. Wait till I get in the light and then I'll... There you go. This model kit's new and sealed, but you can see the box is kind of bashed in a bit. Uh, I just got that about a week ago. Yeah, I uh, got this last Monday and uh got it listed i had it before i had it last year and knew it sold well i know i sold it for a hundred dollars or thereabouts last year and uh i just took an offer just a few minutes ago for 110 plus shipping and uh, this is going through the global shipping program and it has been listed for uh four days i listed it on march 18th 2021. There we go. I need something that's about 19. Let's see what 10. Well, it's only 18. I don't I don't know if I could do the 18 or not. That'd be pretty tight. That's a 10 8 6. That one seems like it'd be way too big, but let's see. Yeah, I think I'd rather ship it with plenty of extra room. I'll just need to put some uh, peanuts in with it. There we go. Get rid of that. Concerned with the weight of the item bust in the box. But I do want it to be safe and secure in there. So. There we go. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can dump some peanuts down in that. Let's see, I might have uh, plenty of bubble. No, let me use the peanuts. I was going to say I had more bubble wrap, but 
it's smaller bubble wrap and I'd rather save it and use it for smaller packages. And I listed uh, two or three other big models the same day I listed this one. But they have not had any offers or sales yet. That's all right. Basically, gonna take on this one too. I'm gonna put a few more in. I like it to be a little tighter than that when I close it. There we go. I can feel some a little bit of pressure, you know, back on the box. Refilled for next time. Okay, so this, oh, look at that, three pounds. So it's pretty light, but it's going to cost a little bit because of the size of the box. Okay, that's going to do it for the day. Uh, pretty good day, did up quite a few packages. I hope you all have a good evening, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.